Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours of morning prayer for September 1st. Today is the 22nd Sunday in ordinary time. Let's have that moment of silence to better prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia. Give thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Let, Let the sons of Israel say, His love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. I call to the Lord in my distress. He answers and freed me. The Lord is at my side. I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompass me. In the Lord's name I crush them. They, they compass me, compass me about. In the Lord's name I crush them. They compass me about like bees. They blaze like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name I crush them. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my soul. He is my savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. His right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This, this is the Lord's own gate, where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marble in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us sing a hymn of praise to our God. Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord, Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing a hymn of praise to our God. Alleluia. Praise the Lord for his infinite greatness. Alleluia. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise Him for His powerful deeds. Praise His surpassing greatness. Oh, praise Him with sound of trumpet. Praise Him with the lute and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipes. Oh, praise Him with resounding cymbals. Praise Him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise the Lord for His infinite greatness. Alleluia. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. I will spring clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. People in Jesus' time, and even today, we have something in common with regard to faith and tradition. We all honor we all uh, honor Jesus with our lips, but our hearts are far from Jesus. Many who have their children baptized does it for tradition. Many fears of bad karma if they don't get baptized rather than what it is for, becoming God's children. As God's children, together with Jesus, we have a mission, a common mission, to continue the bringing people to salvation. If we belong to a family, we inherit both what the family represents, as well as the perks, and in this case, it's the kingdom of God. Our natural hearts longs for God. 
our stony hearts longs for material wealth and vanity. The only way for us to find our true home is by living within God's statutes. It's also known as the Ten Commandments. And these statutes are basically about love. I say it's love 101. See, if we love others, we love God. And loving God is the manifestation that we have the right spirit within us. We give thanks to you, O God, as we call upon your name. We give thanks to you, O God, as we call upon your name. We cry aloud how marvelous you are. As we call upon your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We give, we give thanks, thanks to you, O God, as we call upon your name. Listen and understand the instructions the Lord has given to you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Listen, Listen and understand the instructions of the Lord as given us. Let us give thanks to our Savior, who came into this world as God's presence among us. Let us call upon Him. Christ, King of glory, be our light and our joy. Lord Jesus, you are the rising sun, the first fruits of the future resurrection. Grant that we may not sit in the shadow of death, but walk in the light of light. Show us your goodness present in every creature, that we may contemplate your glory everywhere. Do not allow us to be overcome by evil today, but grant that we may overcome evil through the power of good. You were baptized in the Jordan and anointed by the Holy Spirit. Grant that we may this day give thanks to your Holy Spirit. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray, Christ, Christ King, King of glory, be our light and our joy. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, every good thing comes from you. Fill our hearts with love for you. Increase our faith. And by your constant care, protect the good you have given us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.